Thank you, Dave, and again, congratulations. It's now my pleasure to uh, introduce uh, another co-chair of the uh, ICCF, and that is Betty McCollum, uh, a representative from uh, Minnesota. Betty, are you here? She's coming. Here she is. I love coming here. You meet new friends and you get to see old friends. Uh, so uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Tanner, for that introduction. I'd also like to extend my sincere appreciation to David Barron and John Gant and the International Caucus Foundation staff tonight, as well as our corporate and many uh, NGO partners. Let's give the staff a round of applause for all the work that they did this evening. Now, I'm here on behalf of my colleagues in Congress. And as I said, I'm delighted to be here because we're going to celebrate the work of a foundation and honor those promoting conservation across the globe. As the co-chair of the International Conservation Caucus and the ranking member of the Interior Environment Appropriations Subcommittee, I have seen the foundation and its partners is a force for positive change. Here in Washington, yes, and around the world especially when they work alongside the U.S. government in our efforts to support global conservation. The international programs at the National Park Service and the U.S. Forest Service, along with Fish and Wildlife Service, help other nations build their own park systems and enforce their own conservation laws and regulations. One of the most powerful tools that any nation has is to preserve its critical habitats and to protect their natural resources, their national treasures. And you do that by the creation of national parks. These protected lands can be the cornerstones of successful and sustainable conservation. When they balance the needs of the environment and the needs of the community side by side. And tonight I have the distinct pleasure of introducing an organization that's forefront in that type of work. African Parks is an innovative organization leading the way in sustainable and effective model. African Parks has been the pioneer in the concept of private-public partnerships in which they assume the full responsibility for the rehabilitation and the long-term management of national parks in coordination with governments and the local communities. The organization currently manages 15 parks in protected areas in African countries and here tonight on behalf of African Parks is the organization's co-founder and CEO, Peter Farnhead. Now, Peter has demonstrated a lifelong commitment. I want you to hear when his lifelong commitment started. At the age of 13, he developed 2,000 uh, acre wildlife reserve on his school campus. And I'm, you, I'm a junior high high school teacher. I have to tell you, that's pretty remarkable. So from the childhood preserve in Zimbabwe, Peter has grown an organization that combines preservation of parks and wildlife with economic development, tourism, and infrastructure. That's a win, win, win. Through their responsible management of protected areas, African Parks is securing the well-being of communities today and the survival of these critical habitats for the future. So on behalf of the International Conservation Caucus Foundation, our global conservation community, I am truly honored to present the Good Steward Award to African Parks and its co-pounder, uh, Peter Fernhead. Peter. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, particularly my uh, uh, neighbor from the north, uh, His Excellency, uh, I'd like to thank all of you, uh, ICCF, for this uh, award. 
the award is not an award for me. It's an award for three very important groups of people. The first is the government organizations that we partnership with as African Parks. It's not possible for us to do what we do uh, without the commitment from governments. We are looking after their national assets. These are not our protected areas. They belong to them. And unless there's the will from the governments that we work with uh, to ask us to come and look after these national parks, uh, we would not be able to make any difference at all. And I'd like to particularly recognize this evening the uh, caucus uh, groups, the parliamentary caucuses from uh, Zambia, Malawi, and Mozambique that are somewhere here in the audience that have all been incredible partners to us and very supportive in the work that we do. The second group to recognize are the financial partners that make our work possible. As you all know, conservation costs money. And we are extremely grateful to all the different US government agencies that support the work that we do uh, in the nine different countries that we're operating in Africa. But it's not just the government agencies. Uh, a lot of US private citizens are behind the work that we do, and we're extremely grateful to them. But then there are staff. We've got over 2,500 people that are in the field, literally the 24-7 that everyone hears about, that are the boots on the ground, protecting the parks that we're responsible for, working with local communities to make sure that they understand and benefit from the parks that we're looking after, and building an economy around those parks to make sure that they're sustainable into the future. And this award, I think, acknowledges all three of those groups of people. I'd like to leave you with a final thought. There are over 20,000 registered museums in the United States of America. There are only 300 protected areas larger than 100,000 acres in Africa, only 300. How many of those protected areas survive into the future is literally up to the people that are in this room this evening. And that's worth thinking about. So thank you very much for this award.